This local sports report is presented by the Guelph Minor Football Association, proudly developing players in Guelph for community high school and youth sports football for over 25 years. Learn more about their tackle and flag programs by visiting guelphminorfootball.net. The U16 Guelph Griffins playing in opening day of the OSFL season. The Griffs on home field taking on the Sarnia Sturgeons. The Griffs looking to find the win in front of the home crowd on Saturday. Jumping into the first quarter, the Griffs with the ball. PJ Farah looks downfield and connects with Reed Williams on the far sideline. Reed keeps his feet moving. Max Amaral drags him down inside the Sarnia 5. The Griffs look to punch it over the line and the blocks are good for Eden Tennant. He waltzes to the end zone and the Griffs are out to an early 7-0 lead. Late in the first quarter now, Sarnia looking to keep pace with the Griffs. Carter Pagano launches a deep pass down the near side. Ethan Hacker, able to break free, makes the catch. He's good for 35 yards and the Sturgeons move downfield. Jumping to the second quarter now, the Griffs back in scoring position looking to extend their lead. It's a mirror play from the first quarter. Eden Tennant is untouched, so it's 14-0 Guelph early in the second quarter. Sarnia is still battling looking to score before the half and it's more from the Sturgeons QB Carter Pagano. He finds Ethan Hacker and Ethan's good for another 30 yards. The Sturgeons move to scoring position and here they are on the Griffs two yard line. It's a QB keeper getting it done. Carter Pagano punches it over the line. And after the conversion, it's 14-8 Griffs. The Sturgeons pressing, looking to take the lead. Carter Pagano going deep with another long ball. June Kim intercepts the pass. A good interception from June Kim, and minutes later, it's more from Kim as he picks off another pass. And we head to the second half, 14-8 Griffins. In the second half now, Guelph with the ball. It's another great run from Eden Tennant. He finds a hole in the middle before dancing to the outside. Eden outpaces a tackle and flies in for the touchdown. That's Eden's third TD of the day, and Guelph is up 20-8. The Sturgeon's not down and out yet, however, back the other way here on an inside run of their own. Ali Mayhew Vanderslot with the rock. He's good for a first down, but Riley Stitcher takes him down inches from the line. The Sturgeons would need a finisher, and it's the QB getting it done. Carter Pagano squeezes through the pack and gets it over the line for the touchdown. So it's 20-15 Griss after three quarters. Head to the fourth quarter, now the Sturgeons pressing for the comeback. It's another run from the Sarnia QB. The blocks are good and Carter Pagano eyes the end zone and he's in there. So Sarnia take a 22 to 20 lead. The Griffs would look to answer, but with a couple clutch interceptions from Calvin Cecil and later in the fourth quarter, Ali Mehu Vanderslot, that would be all she wrote in this one as the Sarnia Sturgeons complete the comeback and take the win over the Guelph Griffins. This one ending with a final score of 25 to 20 on Saturday.